Hey guys, so we are back with another video of what I bought this summer. I might tag all these videos the same thing because I'm like, outside of maybe like a Mac haul and some drugstore diaries, I really haven't showed you guys that much stuff. So I'm just going through everything and trying to collect everything I bought since like, you know, June through August, you know, the major summer months and sharing them with you so you have an idea of kind of what's in my collection. Naturally, with all this happening, we have to do, put a lot of stuff on the blog sale. So I will update you guys on that. So the first thing I want to share with you is I think that there was a guilt was it guilt there's a guilt voucher or a guilt promotion where you can get $30 off of an $80 purchase from Bobbi Brown and I love Bobbi Brown and I want to I've never really tried so much from Bobbi Brown uh, both in cosmetics and in skincare but last summer and was it last summer or last? No. Last winter, I kind of got into her stuff, but it was like near the end of winter, so I didn't really understand the true effectiveness of her moisturizers. I feel like they look kind of salmon colored. But I want to say this summer, where was I? I had laid outside, not purposely, but I had laid out for way longer than I had planned on. And I came back in and I put like a sample packet of the Repair Moisture Cream on my face. The next day my skin was perfect so I was like I need to get like a full size jar of this for winter. So with the voucher $30 off of an $80 purchase uh, I picked up the Rep Repair Moisture Cream. This thing retails for $95. I didn't realize I like I know Bobbi Brown makeup's kind of up there in price but the skincare is like almost it's not almost it is at like that luxe skincare line price point. This is really expensive. However, at the same time that I bought this cream, they were doing a promotion where if you bought this cream, um, or if you bought like a certain amount on the website, they gave you the hydrating eye cream, full size, half an ounce, for free. So this eye cream retails for $50. So you got this for free, which was really awesome. So now I have this. I've used this too, and this is excellent. They're both really good like what this does for your face this does for your eyes and it's magnificent but i think you had to spend a hundred dollars so this was 95. so i went on i just kind of browsed the site more and looked for something else that i was interested in this is the eye blender brush from bobby brown it is a very kind of large fluffier so i tend to use this like right in this area like right after like between my crease and transition as well as maybe like my uh transition shade plus kind of this uh what do you call this under the eyebrow color and i would say okay so this was 33. so between the i think bobby brown also is available maybe it's like five percent cash back which is pretty awesome so the total of all these items cost 178 dollars but because this was free 50 bucks and then i had the 30 dollar voucher i got all of this for like around 100 dollars, like which is a crazy deal it's like i bought this and I got these two things for free. So I just, I know it's kind of like a long spiel on this, but like, if you watch my videos a lot and any of my hauls, like I stack coupons, I wait for promotions. I'm never someone that like needs to buy something immediately. Like if I, I will keep my eye on something for a while and then just like pounce, you know? Be glowing. If you are not on that website or if you are not subscribed to their emails, I will link them below because they do a lot of great deals. Sometimes it'll be just like 20% off everything for like five hours or they just do really great promotions. I love their promotions. They were doing a promotion where all their Kevin O'Quan was 20% off. And then if you purchased a certain amount or like with any Kevin O'Quan prod purchase, you would get the medium sculpting powder for free which is crazy because i mean i have one already but i was like oh i could always use another one and the one i have is in smaller packaging so i got all of this kevin o'quan let me show you i bought two bronzers and a lipstick these are 20 percent off plus i got this for free which is amazing i think this is what it's like 42 dollars or something right am i making that up I, I don't know i have this like list of stuff that i wrote out so i could see so i got all of this four items from kevin o'quan for about 100 bucks totally a good deal so let me show you the two bronzers there's desert nights and desert days here is desert days and here is a desert nights i don't find there's like a huge difference between the two they're both really nice they're matte they are a little more powdery than i prefer i really don't like it when you stick your brush in something and you get like powder kick up and i find with these two bronzers you get that a lot uh, one of the brands that I've discovered in terms of like face powder products, Bobbi Brown. Amazing. Like you put your brush in there, 
like zero powder kick up like to me if i were ever to create like a makeup line and i had like powders in there i would want mine to be like bobby brown's because hers are phenomenal they are perfect i would say that like tom ford does that too a lot of his kind of like highlighter or like a lot of those brands that do like a gelée formula you don't get a lot of powder kick up which is probably why they're so popular and you feel like you're just getting more pigment versus more powder the sculpting powder i'm not gonna show you i mean i already showed you guys a little bit we don't have to get that much into it and then i picked up this lipstick it's called sailor sailor it's described as a sandy nude this is a very pretty color it's a very me color it's such a smooth formula but that is sandy nude right there i would say it goes kind of pink it's like equal parts pink and peach i just gonna focus probably not. oh there we go um it has like a warm pink peachy color base and you can see the sheen on it it's a very smooth nice formula and in case you haven't seen kind of like their packaging of their lipsticks this is what it looks like um what else do we have to share with you i did a mac haul oh laura mercier was doing 20 percent off their website and i think it was friends and family like 20 percent off and free shipping or something uh i just picked up this uh bronzer it's called it's the number four out of all the bronzers she has like the big bronzer this is the one that i've always kind of wanted but i never really picked up uh i do have ritual which i also really really love that's bronze number four really beautiful easy bronzer to wear and i got it for 20 percent off and i highly recommend shopping directly from like the retailers websites like you know lauramercier.com nars.com oftentimes if they do a promotion i would recommend shopping from there because the the samples that they send you or the free gifts that you get with your purchase are amazing in this purchase i got the laura mercier creme brulee body butter i mean this is a very generous size okay and i've picked up i've gotten so many different versions of like a hand cream or a body souffle or something that's always like a really excellent size and then i also got the invisible pressed setting powder in like the universal oh i feel like i'm turning orange again and you get two grams of a face powder which is amazing probably really great to put it in your purse so you get a two grams of a pressed powder and a sponge to go with it i mean really great samples i've gotten like eye duos like eyeshadow duos before i've gotten maybe a fragrance i don't know i'm just saying when laura mercier or like retailers websites like it cosmetics and just stuff like that like whenever you purchase directly from the site you get really great deluxe samples and or free gifts with purchase the next website i'm going to talk about is called friends beauty uh and i'm gonna go through i guess very quickly what i picked up from here the first purchase i made from them was to pick up the dark matte palette i have already loved and used the what is this one called the basic or matte nudes or something i can't remember what, what exactly this palette is called but i picked this up uh i think off of sephora and i've loved it to death anything you've heard about these palettes it's 100 percent true over the course of the summer i can't remember when exactly temptalia did a review of the dark mattes first of all i did not even know that they had a dark matte palette so yeah this is what it looks like they're all colorful shades they are so beautiful the looks you can achieve with this like if you're a makeup artist for sure i would recommend just getting all the Visart palettes but or Viseart. This is beautiful. And I got this for 10% off, no tax, which is really great. The name of the website is called Friends Beauty. It's like a, you know, like a makeup artist beauty supply store. There was a day or like a course of a few days where they did a crazy sale. And I was like, oh, you know, after the two matte palettes from that brand, I'm not going to get any more. But I was interested in the Sultry Muse palette as well as the Paris Nudes. These retail for $80 they were on sale for 54.99 no tax ridiculous so this is sultry muse i wish i could swatch all these for you but these are all kind of larger palettes and i can't really swatch them and if you look at these colors you're like oh some of those are not you colors when you swatch them there's a lot of beautiful dimension in them so that's sultry muse and these are like a mixture i would say these are the first two were matte these are more like satins and shimmers and then again this one was also 54.99 instead of 80 and this is paris nude it is i haven't really touched this one if you can tell the other ones i've used this one is kind of like untouched so far but 
They all have like a very, very slight duochrome to them. They're really beautiful. YSL did 20% off this summer. I picked up, what did I get? Rouge Volup Tint and Oil. Oh, this is the first one I got. This is not from the summer. I had picked this up a while ago. And this one is like the copper color. But because I liked this so much, I picked up this one, which is Give Me Gold. I think there's another shade I liked more. Is it this Give Me Gold? I could be making this up. But at first I was like, oh, I don't want a gold gloss. I have that on today over a Lipstick Queen shade I'm going to show you in a little bit. But Give Me, or the gold shade, I don't know the exact, this is what the gold color looks like. It's so super beautiful. It's like a warm pinkish gold. This is the original one that I had picked up. I say original, like that's the only one, but it's like a copper shade. This is the, the gold shade for the Lup Tint and Oil. Beautiful. I have it on today, like I said. It's not super like full on because it's kind of absorbed into my lips, which is what I really like. Um, and they also give just like a slight stain that's very natural looking. I picked up the Le Saharian Balm Sunkissed Blur Perfector Healthy Glow Balm Powder. I have this in the shade. Oh. I think I have this in the darkest shade. I am not sure. Maybe I have 50 or 60. I love this. I've been using this with the Real Techniques Contour Brush. And it's beautiful. It's kind of in the realm of the Chanel Bronze Universal. It's much more like silicone-y feeling. And it has a lot more of like a sheen to it. Not a sheen, but like a glow to it. Like kind of similar to like this look. Versus the, where I feel like the Chanel one just really bronze up, bronzes up your face beautifully. I know that like, let me swatch this for you guys. For some people, this might come across like too orange. It's right here. Well, I guess it doesn't look orange there. But I feel like sometimes when bronzers, especially the Chanel one, comes across very kind of orange tone to a lot of people. But I feel like on a lot of skin tones, especially if you're warmer, even if you're, yeah, especially if you're warmer and light, an orange-hued bronzer looks really beautiful. It, as far as, if you're going to have a mistake, I'd rather you look a little too peachy orange over looking muddy. And I think that orange tones really kind of complement warm skin, whether it be for like a nude lip shade or a crease transition shade. I always think it looks really, really beautiful. So I have no problem with kind of like orange toned stuff. Yeah, the YSL stuff was 20% off. And then it came with this mirror, which I have also have one of. So now I have two. So I'm like super excited. They're so beautiful. It comes in a case that says YSL and then you get like a mirror that's like gold and black. I mean, how beautiful, right? So that was like a free gift. I was like, I'm not gonna complain about that at all. Like everybody and their mama on this planet, I picked up the Champagne Pop from Becca, the collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. I'm not gonna get too much into it, but there's a swatch of it. It is extremely beautiful. I find that truly people from like light to dark, warm to cool, you can wear it. You might not be your favorite highlighter depending on where you fall in that spectrum, but it is truly like a beautiful highlight. So I don't regret this purchase at all. Everybody kept talking about this Tatcha Mist and I'm like, what? Okay. Also, I mean, I love me some Asian products and this is a Japanese product. This is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This retails for expensive dollars, for 48, I think. I was like, okay, I really, I'm not opposed to spending on skincare. I'm really not. So I didn't really have a problem with like the price so much as like, is it gonna work? The bottle is a glass bottle. I don't know if this is very travel friendly in terms of weight and in terms of it being glass, but it's a thick glass and you can feel that, sorry, itch. This is beautiful on the skin. I use this, I was like, oh, I'll just kind of use it like a mist the way I would use like MAC Fix Plus, mm -mm. This is dewy. Like I cannot wait to use this in the, in the winter. Like I can't wait like to just kind of like apply my moisturizer or even like at the beginning of winter just use this as my moisturizer. That, it's that moisturizing. It's that good. Um, so I decided to pick it up off of QVC because this is 48 and then and they had a little deal where you got the blotting sheets for free so 48 for this and then 12 dollars of this was free so i thought it was a pretty good deal always search for good deals next there was a well how about okay so in space and k i have purchased from them a lot over the course of this summer i would say maybe like spring summer and i haven't done a haul for you guys i really should i picked up some really nice high-end things um because guilt had vouchers it was like 50 bucks for 100 bucks worth of product now that was a really good deal right so i got the oribe texturizing spray i picked up some 
I think hourglass primer, some Jenny Patinkin brushes. Maybe at some point those are work, work those will work their way into some videos, but for the time being, I'm gonna talk about uh, the two lip products I purchased. My mom had wanted the Surgeon Normand hairspray and they were doing a crazy deal. I don't know if it's like what's happening, but it was only like 12 bucks for a full size bottle. So I got my mom three bottles of that. And then I was on the side, you know, you have to get your free shipping, right? So I was like, what can I pick up that's cute? Or not cute, that like I would like to try. This first thing is from Lipstick Queen. I've never tried anything from Lipstick Queen before and I really feel like after this product, I'm very excited to try other stuff from, from the brand. But the brand is quite expensive. I think they deal exclusively in lip products. This is the Oxymoron Matte Gloss in the shade Deafening Silence and that's what I have on all over my lips. I have Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude on, I have this padded all over my lips and then I have the Tintin Oil, the gold one from YSL. This color is beautiful and I love that they call it Oxymoron because whenever you find things that are like matte gloss or matte highlighter, words that are clearly like a juxtaposition of opposing textures confuses me. So I love that they call it the Oxymoron Matte Gloss. And that's kind of what it is. It feels like a gloss. It goes on quite smoothly. However, isn't this color beautiful? Andrew, if you're watching, I know you want this color on your lips right now. You apply it and you just pat it into your lips and then it just kind of goes, it doesn't go matte in that it dries, but it goes, do you see the finish of my lips right now? How beautiful this is? Like, let me just put more on. You see this? Gorgeous. I want more of these and I feel like the way it's matte and the way it's glossy creates beautiful, like puffy, pillowy lips. Do you see this? Like, I, yeah, I know my lips are kind of full to begin with, but this product is beautiful. The next item I picked up is from Gemma Kid. Uh, if you're familiar with what Target carried for a while, they did carry, I feel like my hair is so flat right now. Target carried Gemma Kid products for a while and then they kind of phased out. Space and K, I think, also carries their products, but again, I think they're also being phased out also. This is a Gemma Kid High Shine Gloss Stick in Tamarind Cove. It is a SPF. I don't know why I made that ugly face when I said that. Okay, so how cute is this? First of all, packaging, super adorable, but then you click it out, and this shade is beautiful. Did I mention it has SPF 15? This goes on so smooth. It's like a lip balm. It is so nice. And I mean, look at that shade. That is like such a me color. Kind of peachy, light tan brown base to it. It is beautiful. Like this is one of those like no fuss colors. Like you don't need a mirror. You put it on. You kind of like clean around your lip line. This is, oh, I love this so much. And I, it was only like $3.75. $3.75. Like magnificent. Pure Minerals did a deal. You got an eyeshadow palette two kind of liquid liners as well as a mascara for $29. If you follow Nouveau Cheap, she posted a deal where you can get this set that's already really inexpensive for 25% off as well as free shipping. And if you are, you know, if you use Ebates, it was 10% cash back. This deal could not have gotten any more amazing. Now the mascara I don't have to show you. I put it in like a gift pile because I'm I send all my friend like all the mascaras that I get that I can't use because if they're not waterproof, I'm not even gonna test them out. This is a palette I had seen, I can't remember who had talked about it, but I remember seeing her talk about it and thinking that the swatches were beautiful and the colors were so me. And this is, it's called, it was part of this like uncle set. I can't remember the exact name of it, but this is the name of the palette we do not know. Okay. Oh, interesting. Made in the USA, assembled in the Dominican Republic. Okay. Anyway, I will find the name of this palette and list it down below. I'm obsessed with this palette. If you can get your hands on this, I highly recommend this palette to you. There is like the most beautiful rose gold you have ever seen. Are you gonna... Let me see if I can get these to swatch. Rose gold, bronzes, browns. If you love those kind of shades, you need this palette. Also... There is two, there are two matte highlights that are fantastic and then a matte black. This is, to me, one of the most perfect palettes I've come across. Like, oh, beautiful. So I'm going to swatch, woof. So I swatched some of the kind of more shimmery shades so you can get a good idea of what they look like. That was like a rose gold. That's like the most rose goldy color I've ever really seen, like a true rose gold. And then some of the bronze and browns colors, browns colors, 
you know what I'm saying. Beautiful. Are we still obsessed with that lip swatch? Ah, oh, so beautiful. I feel like I'm getting used to this camera. Like, even though the sun is like gone, I still feel like I'm really, really in focus and everything. Oh, get it together. Look what happens when you figure out how to use your own camera. I've been so lazy, I think, in my whole YouTube career about trying to figure out how to use a camera, and this one is just so easy. It's the Canon G7X. It's what I've been using for vlogging, and I feel like I finally figured out, like, just use, like, the standard setting. It's just, it's fantastic. Okay, the other two things you got in the set were the Pure Minerals Cat Eye Liquid Eyeliner. This is okay. I mean, I'm not obsessed with it. Probably because it's not a brush tip. It is a felt tip liner. But what I do love, I do not, this is like, this concept is genius, and I feel like people have probably come up with this before. But this is the Double Ego Dual Ended Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Queensland. Let me show you. On one end, you have a pencil liner, which is beautiful. This is like, kind of a really beautiful, I feel like it has like a navy base, but it's like a teal shade. And on the other end, you get the liquid liner in like, a corresponding shade. It's so beautiful. Okay, so there's a swatch. Uh, this blue, this more blue base color is the eyeliner, pencil liner, and this is the liquid liner. You can create such a beautiful look with this. So pretty, like, a, what am I trying to say? I'm a fan of this, this product. I've never really tried Pure Minerals before, so this is a really great introduction for me. I had a lot of beauty.com dollars to use, so I caved and finally picked up the Narcissus Dual Intensity Palette. This Tom Ford eyeshadows, the Vizard, the Nars Dual Intensity formula, I would say the top five shadows for me. Like, I was really not wanting to get this, A, because $80 or $79, like too crazy expensive, but I ended up only paying like $55 for this, which is pretty good, as well as some cash back. I already had the black, I already had this one, which is Psycorax, I already had Subra, and I already had Himalaya, and I was like, ugh, but I love this palette. In this color here, this brown shade, which is called, is it called Ursa Major? Yes is limited edition for this palette. So I love this. I absolutely love it. You can create such beautiful looks with it. Uh, the only thing is, I would say, well, most of the colors are kind of more satin finish. So it kind of rides that line between almost matte, which kind of works out for me. So love this. Kind of trying out an indie brand of makeup, Saucebox Cosmetics. If you're on Instagram, you're probably kind of familiar with them. Battlelash does, features them a lot, and there's a lot of swatches that happen on different accounts. I had been super interested in the Battle Lash palette. It is beautiful. It retails for $70. No, it retails for 60 bucks. And I was like, ugh, I can't. You know, I just, ugh, it goes against like everything and not everything, but it goes against like a lot of what I'm trying to accomplish in my makeup collection right now. These colors are so beautiful. And not that I like sit there and like try to buy like indie brands a lot because I do want to support brands that are up and coming and that are newer and that are not like you know corporate owned or any or you know what I'm saying like you just want to like as someone who is in the beauty community you want to you know bring other brands up and this is beautiful like I can't so like I said this thing retails for 60 and then this palette is the creme de la creme this is a beautiful beautiful kind of neutrals uh, basics palette and it looks like this and this retails for 40 but they were doing a promotion they actually still have a few of these promotions left over on the website although a lot of them are sold out you can get both of these for 70 that's crazy right because it, they're actually a hundred dollars and their shipping is seven dollars flat rate you really can't do anything about that so I got both of these for 77 which is good instead of a hundred and seven um, I don't regret this purchase at all. It was quite a pricey purchase, but each, you get like four grams of product. Is it four grams? You get four grams of product in each one, and that is a really, really good deal, and I super, super love this. From Beautylish, I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow in the new shade. It's medium dark. Uh, here again, you get a decent amount of product. You get 8 grams of product for each shade, so you get 16 grams of product. I have this on as my bronzer today, and I kind of have this on as like a blush. I don't know, maybe, maybe you can see it a little bit. So the bronzer is super beautiful. Like I said, I didn't really contour today. I just kind of put bronzer on and was just 
hoping for the best to get like a nice glow and then let me see if I can swatch these for you I think that'll be really helpful if you want to see really good swatch comparisons go to beauty lookbook she has the first version and this version swatched that is the bronzer in here beautiful beautiful and that is the highlight this highlight definitely acts as more like a blush and or bronzer topper or if you blend the two shades together you can kind of use it to contour your nose a little bit because you know we know we all know the rules right we should not be contouring our noses with like those contour powders because those are like too gray and it looks too unreal you should always use a more bronzier shade to contour your nose if you're gonna do it personal preference i'm not saying there are rules but that's my rule for like my face so that concludes another video of the what i bought this summer 2015 edition uh if i have already uh uploaded the sax plus nordstrom version of this haul i will link it below otherwise i'm just gonna keep on keeping on i have so much makeup i want to share with you and i also want to be able to put it away because that's important i'm also kind of working on like a beauty room i'm gonna take the second bedroom turn it into like a beauty room because ugh, why do I act like I need to have a second bedroom for like guests I don't have that many guests or very rarely and if they do they're sleeping in my bed so anyway that sounds weird I don't mean this is, don't take that the wrong way maybe I'll edit that out maybe I'll leave it in I don't know okay so that's the end of this haul I hope you enjoyed this video I miss you guys so much I mean I know I'm like on Instagram a little bit but I just miss like comments and stuff like that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys all really soon.